What's up guys? Welcome back to Half Man Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So finally when it comes to Mac OS 13 Ventura, I'll be happy to let you know that we now have the next beta, which brings us to beta 5. It comes slightly over one week since the release of beta 4 that we saw. And you can see here for me on my M1 Pro 14 inch MacBook that the update pane shows 1.55 gigs but upon downloading the update the update did increase to 2.39 gigs that is something that we've seen consistently when it comes to these mac os updates where the size always varies but this is not all that apple released by the way if you go to the apple developer page system you see that they have released ios as well as ipad os 16 beta 5 they've also released mac os 13 beta 5 of course this is the video for that and watch os 9 beta 5 as well as tv os 16 beta 5 most of these updates i do cover here on the channel at half man half tech so if that's something that interests you then definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out on what you can do now with your devices now since i've already updated my device let's go ahead and look at some of the software changes that are here with this update so if we go to the general tab and then go to the about tab of this mac you'll be able to see the new build number that we have here and you can see that on beta 5 it's 22A5321D so this update has taken two steps in the positive direction because on beta 4 we had 22A5311F so we went from an F build to a D build which takes us a little bit ahead in terms of stability and performance is going to show this once I show you my Geekbench score that I got here now Let's quickly jump into the new features and changes that are here with this update. There really isn't a lot actually. And the first one that I want to show you has to do with continuity camera for your device. Now, this is something that you can always check out if you have a supported iPhone because not all iPhones are going to support this continuity feature despite being on iOS 16. So continuity camera is basically uh, the ability to, uh, to, to use or scan uh, documents and take pictures using your iphone and then those are going to instantly appear on your mac and you can see that some of the applications that use continuity camera you have finder mail messages keynote notes and so on right so the change that is here with the latest beta of mac os 13 beta 5 and the latest ios 15 beta 5 or ios 16 beta 5 rather is that if you go into your iphone settings and you go to the battery section you now have a subset for continuity camera that's going to show you how much of a battery impact that is for you on your device so that's just a minor update that i thought i should let you know and then of course just like any other update when it comes to mac os we do have some applications that have been updated with new splash screens so the first one you can see it here this is home so it has been updated with a new splash screen you also have a new splash screen when it comes to music and it just put up on my mac here so you can see welcome to music new home for music on your mac also something that has a new splash screen as you can see here is the maps app and it has added like multi-stop routing and it's just telling you that you can add multi-stops along your driving route so that's basically most of the new features that are here or the changes that have been added and just in case you're curious the safari version has also been up Updated. if we go to the about section here you can see that the build is 18614.1.25.11.1 that has been updated from the previous build that was 18142.1.19.1.4 and it seems like at this time it still has to do with fluidness when it comes to browsing using safari and sometimes when you access safari using stage manager it's not a smooth experience as it's supposed to be and also when it comes to video playback so 
probably that's what apple is trying to address when it comes to this update now there are some fixes as well when it comes to mac os 13 beta 5 the first one that i want to show you has to do with the message notification bug so you would get a notification on your all, all your other devices signed into your icloud and on the messages app on the mac the notification will somehow be delayed so that has been fixed and the messages is showing up exactly at the same time you get it on your ipad or iphone or apple watch which is something that's good and also still in the messages app you now have the ability to be able to paste which was an issue for some users before so just like any update on the beta this also does have some issues and bugs and the first one i have to mention has to do with wi-fi connectivity so some users have mentioned that they are unable to use stable internet connections after updating to beta 5 and that is an issue at this time and then also others have been logged out when it comes to their apple ids account so sometimes you might be asked to re-input your password after updating to beta 5 and also there's an apple script issue and there's been quite a number of complaints when it comes to this setting app because you can you can adjust the height of this window but you can't adjust the width so it seems to be done intentionally but some people are also reporting this as an issue or a bug that's still here with this update it just feels kind of old that this is not something that you can do and obviously if you go to the release notes of this update they do mention quite a number of existing issues and these release notes are most probably available to the general public anyways so you can see we have some deprecation some non-issue when it comes to device discovery mail has an issue when it comes to remind me and metal has a non-issue and there's quite a number of non-issues as well and one that has to particularly do with security security and stage manager like i mentioned has an issue swift ui and quite a, a number of issues mentioned here in the release notes but nothing major beta 4 that we saw about two weeks ago was the one that introduced a lot of fixes and resolved issues and it just seems like beta 5 is washing out most of those issues now i want to show you my performance that i got on my device on the left hand side this is mac os venture beta 4 and this is beta 5 so on beta 4 i got a score of 13 4 4 but on beta 5 for single core i got 17 6 9 now for multi-core on beta 4 i got 84 0 5 and for beta 5 or multi-core i almost got 10,000 so you can see that this beta 5 is performing way way higher than beta 4 and in terms of stability so far from the time i've been using it since yesterday it seems a little bit smoother and beta compared to what we had on mac os 13 beta 4 so in my experience or in my opinion if you are coming from mac os 13 beta 4 then this is a good update to update to so that you solve most of the performance issues that are there and you'll be able to experience slightly faster performance as you can see here from the geekbench scores now in terms of when this update could be released usually what apple does with these beta updates once we reach on beta 5 they usually start to move on to weekly releases so i would expect mac os 13 beta 6 sometime maybe on the 15th between the 15th to the 17th and then from there on we'll you know continue on with weekly releases and then maybe the official release will come sometime in september close to mid-september that's when i would be looking forward to this update being officially available to everyone so perhaps during the week of the 19th we could be getting this update so that's just a brief take for me when it comes to mac os 13 beta 5 if you like this video definitely leave a like and stay safe and i will see you in the next video